In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to uh, multiply and divide fractions. So, uh, two multiplication examples, two division ones. So, uh, one of the differences between multiplying and dividing versus adding and subtracting is when you're multiplying and dividing, you don't need to get a common denominator. Now, if you did that for some reason, it's not going to give you the wrong answer. It's just not necessary. So, it just would make the question longer and you actually have to reduce it more at the end probably too. So to multiply, so remember the four and five, they're called the numerators, the seven and six are the denominators. So all we do is we multiply the two numerators together. So four times five is 20, and seven times six is 42 in the denom denominator. So that would be our answer. You should always check at the end to see if it will reduce. Now 20 and 42 are both even, so 2 should divide into both of those. So if we were to divide top and bottom by 2, like this, you don't have to write this down unless somebody wanted you to show what work you did, but 20 divided by 2 would be 10, and 42 divided by 2 would be 21. So that would be our lowest terms or reduced final answer. Now, in A, the fractions were proper, meaning that, remember, that means the uh, numerator is smaller than the, the denominator in each case. Uh, in B, they're actually mixed, so we have to uh, make them into improper fractions, and then we can multiply them. Uh, same with C, before we can do the division, we have to do that. So in, uh, in B here, remember the way you change 2 and 3 quarters to uh, improper? You go 2 times 4 is 8 and then add this 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. So that would be 11 quarters. Notice the denominator is the same. Multiply by, and this one's not mixed, so we can just write, and I'm just gonna, I'm not going to bother write it with the brackets. I'm going to write it as negative 4 fifths. So, the uh, numerators get multiplied, 11 times negative 4 would be negative 44. And in the denominator, 4 times 5 is 20. And this one will reduce as well. So if you take a look at uh, the uh, numerator and denominator, actually they're both even like they were in uh, A here. But even even larger, uh, we can divide top and bottom both by 4. So not just 2. If you divide by 2, it can go further. So if uh, they both divide by 4. So that will take it down as, as low as possible. So negative 44 divided by 4 is negative 11. So negative 11. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now notice I wrote the negative here. It, it, most people would find this acceptable, okay, to write as negative 11 fifths, uh, but this actually means the same thing. The, the whole rational number or fraction is negative, so I, you'll often see the negative written right in the middle here. The one way you don't write it generally is like this. You don't write it with a negative in the denominator. Okay? That's not as, ex an, as an accepted form. So let's get rid of that. Pencil. Now, uh, it's improper because the 11 is bigger than the 5. So our answer is still negative. And how many times does 5 go into 11? Well, if you uh, take 11 divided by 5, see it goes in twice. Okay, So this would be 2. Now 2 fives is 10. You see there's one more to make the 11. So there would be 1, 2, and 1 fifth, or negative 2 and 1 fifth. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 makes that 11. Uh, for C up here, now, uh, so the last two are divisions. And what you do with division is it's kind of like, it's a little bit like the rule where when you're subtracting uh, integers, you can always change it into an addition question. Well, for uh, division, you change them into uh, the equivalent multiplication. And we just use the multiplication method like we did in A and B here. So, um, First of all, I want to change them to uh, improper form. So 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 would be 23 quarters. 
And I'll leave it as division now, and I'll explain that multiplication part in a second here. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5. So this would be 5 and over 3, 5 thirds. Now, any division, now actually, okay, we keep the uh, 23 quarters the same. Dividing by 5 thirds is the same as multiplying by, and it's called the reciprocal, okay, the uh, second fraction flipped upside down. So 3 fifths. So we change dividing by 5 thirds into multiplying by 3 fifths. And then it's the same as the multiplication we did in A and B. So uh, 23 quarters, so we multiply the 23 by the 3. So 23 times 3, see, two, uh, 20 times 3 would be 60, and then 3 times 3 is 9. So that's going to be 69 over 4 times 5 is 20. And of course that's That's improper because the uh, uh, numerator is bigger than the denominator. So how many times does 20 go into 69? And you might be able to do that mentally, seeing if you're counting 20, 40, 60. So you see you can get three uh, 20s into 69. Okay, and actually you can actually do this, divide by 20. Okay, so it's uh, three and a certain number of twentieths. So 3 times 20 is 60, and you see you'd need 9 more to make 69. So this would be a 9 here. Actually, I'm going to show a way to get that with the calculator, too. Uh, if you take that 0.45, another way you can get the number at the top, and multiply it by your denominator. See, there's the 9. Okay, that's another way you can get what the number is on top. You take the decimal part. And, uh, and multiply it by the denominator, and that's the numerator. Okay, last one here, and maybe I'll change back to purple. So once again, we need to change them to uh, improper form. So 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13, so this would be 13 thirds. And we're dividing that by... So 2 times, now, uh, you have to be careful with the sign here. It, it is negative, but it's not negative 2 times 2 plus 1. Okay, you're changing the 2 and a half to an improper form, and it's negative. So it's 2 times 2 plus 1, not negative 2 times 2 plus 1. So 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so it's negative 5 halves. So... Uh, we rewrite it as the same first fraction, and we change this division into multiplying by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal would make, be negative 2 over 5. And so we multiply. So 13 times negative 2 would be negative 26, and in the denominator, 3 times 5 is 15. And uh, so if you're asked to change it to a mixed, okay, so, uh, uh, sometimes you be, you're okay with leaving that, and, and it just depends on the, the situation you're using them. But if you're asked to change it to a mixed, so how many times is 15 to go into 26? Well, if you start counting by 15, so you have 15, and the next one's 30. So 30 is uh, bigger than 26, so it only goes in once. So we write negative 1, okay. And then you see to figure out how many, you know, fifteenths are left over, you would take your twenty-six and multiply by that single fifth. Sorry, subtract that single fifteen, which would be eleven. So this is eleven. So negative one and eleven fifteenths. And I'll show you that that uh, trick over here. Twenty-six divided by fifteen. Notice I didn't bother to put the negative in here. So see, it's point seven. The decimal part's that. So if I subtract one from that gives me the point, and then if I multiply that by the 15, the denominator, see there's the 11. Okay, so it's another way you can find what that 11 is. So that's a couple of examples of multiplying and dividing uh, fraction or rational numbers. Um, for most people, fractions are when the uh, numbers are just completely uh, positive integers. 
Okay, and they're called rational numbers when you have at least one negative in your numerators and denominators. So this would be a rational number. That's a rational number. Okay, so they're really just called fractions when everything's positive. That's the only difference between the two of them. And that's the end of the tutorial.